Hello. Once again, it is I, the Bruce Wayne of Azure Lane. OG investigator back at it again with another Azure Lane video. And I'm doing this video at the request of Gabe N, who asked me to do an Operation Siren Guide. So I'll just get right into it. Um, when you are making a fleet for Operation Siren, uh, there's more than one ways to skin a cat, but some ways are easier than others. Now, you don't have to go full faction-based faction fleets like I did right here, but there's two kinds of ships you will need, and that is PR ships and healers. And PR ships, you want them for that siren killing skill, because that in general is probably going to save your ass in a lot of the content of Operation Siren. And the rest of, uh, the re well, the reason why you need healers, like especially my second fleet here, the HMS fleet, this fleet is strong enough to kill almost everything in Operation Siren, and it will come out unscathed because it heals so fast. And the reason why you need heals is because every time you complete an operation, um, or com complete a zone, you get these Operation Supply Coins. Now. You can spend these in the shops, but whenever your ships are damaged, you spend these to heal the ships. So every time you use a healer, you won't actually be spending coins in the ports, and you save more coins. And the reason for that is because if you do not spend coins at the end of Operation Siren, they turn into supply shop vouchers and the supply shop can be used to make Operation Siren a lot easier. So I'll go to the exchange shop. Yeah, if you don't spend coins um, or resources in general, all your resources will be turned into these supply shop vouchers and you can buy stuff in the exchange shop. And I have to tell you the exchange shop when you buy everything, um, it makes si Operation Siren a lot easier and a lot more rewarding. So you get these um, tuning samples, which is the first thing you should buy out of the exchange shop. Well, the first thing besides the Operation Siren data logger. That's the first thing you should buy. So if you buy the Operation Siren data logger, it'll unlock all the zones and you can visit e any zone you want. Just right off the rip. Now, um, the tuning samples, there's the purple tuning samples that actually give you more stat, and then there's the blue ones. But um, you can buy them in the ports, but what they do affect is these right here, which is your uh, offensive adaptability, survival adaptability, and tactical adaptability. Now, you start Operation Siren every month with these set to zero, but um, the more you increase these numbers, the better your ships can perform an Operation Siren. So. Offensive adaptability, how much damage you do will go up if you increase this number. Survival adaptability, uh, they take less damage if you increase that number. And tactical adaptability has to do with uh, how your healers work in Operation Siren. So if you come across uh, one of those Siren bosses that has that skill that turns your health into damage, this affects um, how negatively that will impact your ships. And the higher the number, the less it affects you negatively, and um, the more the health mechanisms affect you positively. So, go back to the exchange shop, and um, if you use healers, like, I've used healers almost every Operation Siren, and because of that, I have saved up so many coins, I bought everything in the exchange shop every single time, without actually, you know, running out of supply shop vouchers. But um, the next most valuable thing in Operation Siren are these Siren Coordinate Loggers. So when you buy one of those, um, you'll get one of these little red bosses here. And that is a Siren boss. And no joke, those are the most rewarding. But um, yeah, this, and when, when you start out Operation Siren, they can be tough. So uh, the, if you're going to start going through Operation Siren and you're not sure if your fleet is up to spec, I would recommend 
saving all of these for the end of Operation Siren when your offensive ability, your survival ability, and your tactical adaptability are at their height. Because um, if your ships are, or I would say if you're a new player and you don't have that much uh, fleet tech or you're, you don't have that many good ships, um, your best bet at killing these bosses and you only get one shot at them is waiting until the end of the month to uh, get all your offensive survival tactical adaptability up to the max stat you can. Like wait until the last three days of the month and then just go at all of them. And um, cause when you complete them, you can't, if you're, um, you, you can do this function right here. Let me go back here where you go to order and you just click, uh, regroup and rest, but you can only do that once and it costs you action points. And, uh, if you're out of action points, you are SOL. All right. Next thing I would say is the next rewarding thing here is to get these, um, they're just called coordinate loggers, which are the regular ones. And those will open a special zone. And those zones, I would say, are mostly rewarding. They give you, um, cause to me, the whole point of Operation Siren is getting gold parts. So when I say rewarding, anytime you hear me say the word rewarding, I'm talking about gold parts. The gold enhancement gear parts. That's the to me. That's the whole point of Operation Siren is getting those gold gear parts, because um, if you can plus thirteen your gear, you are you are that much more effective. You can make you can make one ship um, effectiveness go from mediocre to impressive. And now, the next thing you will need to know about Operation Siren: uh, daily missions. So here's the problem with daily missions. Um, you don't actually get to decide when the good missions appear. And in order to get new missions, you have to clear some of them off. So um, you may see these. I haven't cleared my daily missions in a while. So all these missions are very mediocre or you know not very rewarding to me, which is why I haven't done them. But if I did them, I would start getting more rewards. All right, and so the next thing you will need to know about Operation Siren is when you are clearing a lot of these zones, here's the issue I have with clearing the zones is the most rewarding zones are obviously the corrosive level six zones and the corrosive level five and the corrosive level four zones. Corrosive levels one through three don't really give you that many gold parts. But there is a way to get gold parts from them, and that is through exploration progress. So if you click this right here, exploration progress, um, each zone actually has certain tasks in the zone that you can do to get special rewards. And some of those rewards are gold parts, which need I remind you are the most valuable thing you can get out of Operation Siren. I'm all about that gold. Oh, and here's one that has a gold part as a reward. But uh, oh, so here's something I find annoying about this. So when you're doing exploration progress, some of these tasks in the zones, you don't get to decide when they appear. So um, like for instance, this zone, I have probably cleared this zone maybe 150 times. And at least it's over 60 because it tells you, at least, you know, it tells you there. But it's like um, you have to recover one record file you do not decide when that record file appears. It is total RNG. So you have to exit and jump back into the zone, like repeatedly. Exit the zone, jump back into it, clear the zone. Exit the zone, jump back into it, clear the zone. Repeatedly do that until um, either the record file appears or in some cases, um, one of the tasks could be you have to meet the uh, mysterious merchant which is Akashi. So um, you don't get to decide when Akashi shows up. That's the thing. So it's sort of like um, you have to just enter the zone and clear it and exit the zone over and over again until by total luck, Akashi appears and then you go up to her and then you can start getting the exploration point rewards. And um, 
I gotta say, that is absolutely frustrating. <laughs> that is the thing I hate the most about Operation Siren. I'm like, you mean to tell me there's no consistency to this? All right. Anyway. So, if you want gold parts, um, you can just go to Exploration Progress and find out which one of these zones has some gold parts. And then just complete whatever it tells you um, when you when you have the tasks available to you. So if it says, like, perform reconnaissance in that zone, that just means jump in the zone, clear it, and get out. And that's one reconnaissance. So then you have to do another reconnaissance. You jump in the zone, clear it again, and then get out. So, um, yeah, encounter the mysterious merchant two times. Ah, uh, see, I encountered Akashi one time in that zone. And I went back there a dozen times, and I got nothing. And then to recover a record file. Oh, that's going to happen sometime soon. Yeah, I'm sure. RNG hates me. This is why all my ships... This is why in my fleets, I use ships that don't depend on RNG. If you noticed. Anyway. Now that I got that venting out of the way... Okay, so, next thing you need to know about Operation Siren. Uh, the most rewarding thing in this whole event is this right here. So, the boss of all bosses is in, uh, is in here, and this is the Arbiter boss. And, um, I gotta say, um, this is the easy, the easy zone is when she's normal. So if you, when she's normal, you can just go in there and clear her, and then it's over. And you get a whole bunch of nice rewards, like especially... Oh wait, it went all black. It went all black on me. Hold on a second. See if I can fix this. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't like it when I go in there. Anyway. So when you go to the Arbiter Zone... Um, I would say this. Bring all your best ships bring everything you have because uh that is the most rewarding but if you miss out on completing that arbiter boss you don't get the you you'll miss out on getting the gold parts that you could get from it and um when operation siren resets it's a whole new boss but you know you just missed out on some very nice gold parts so i would say um yeah there's no particular one way i would go about saying is the best way to kill the Arbiter boss but um yeah I brought uh, all of my favorite faction fleets um, I got my submarines and I took all of my subs and I remember the first time I did the Arbiter boss it was hard so I got um each sub I got a bitter torpedo on and then I plus 13 the first uh, torpedo in the in their slot so I had like, and I would say that's the best way to use subs in this, because, um, if you have subs and, um, the bitter torpedo is plus 13, if you're having trouble with a boss, those subs, they can help you every time. Like, they, and they can also give you, like, um, an ability to, uh, like, if you, so you can also heal your subs, is the thing. So after every fight in, um, the Arbiter's, Whenever I fight the Arbiters, I'll go here. I go to storage. And usually my subs are low. So if you just click here. Not that one. That's action points. If you just click here. And go to select fleet. You can choose to heal your sub fleet right here. Just by clicking the confirm button. So I found that more than a couple times when I was fighting the Arbiter boss. Um, saved my subs from dying. Because if they die, their skills don't work anymore in Operation Siren. Like, they can still show up on the map, but um, their skills just do not work. Yeah. And uh, one more thing I would say is this. When you go to the port shops, you got to find out what is worth buying there. And I'll just tell you right now, these are what you should be buying. Because I got a new port shop, so I was like, this is a good time to show you all this. Okay. These things, if you want to enhance your meta ships, 
buy these things. Quality tuning samples. If you have not beaten the Arbiter boss, always buy these. Buy as many of these as you can. And obviously, if there are gold parts in here, buy them. Always buy the gold gear parts. It's free gold parts to me. I'm like, that's the easiest gold parts to get in the game. Just come right from the shop. Yeah. So I would say that is Operation Siren in a nutshell. Um, the one thing that is also important to remember is this. If you go to the exchange shop one more time. All right, so if you see these little, um, they're called classified, uh, was it classified mission loggers, classified coordinate loggers? What are these called? Classified files mission logger. Okay, so when you buy one of these, which I will buy right now, these are also incredibly rewarding with gold parts. So you go back here, and somewhere there is a blue insignia. There we go, this one. So these, every time you clear one of these zones, it will give you a gold part or a couple gold parts. And then it moves on over to another zone after you clear it. And what you have to do is you go to that zone and clear it, and you get more gold parts, and it keeps doing that. And it keeps getting harder and harder as you go along, but every zone you clear gives you gold parts so always buy these always always buy these as much as you can when you see them because these are some of the easiest gold parts to get Mm-hmm. so yeah i would say that that is operation siren in a nutshell i hope that answered your question gaben and, let, and if it did not, please let me know in the comments section below. Also, for those of you that have a topic you would like me to cover, or you want me to do, on anything in the game regarding Azure Lane, please put it in the comments section below, and I would be very happy to see what I can do. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. It has been a pleasure. OG Investigator, signing out. Farewell and following seas, my fellow Shikikans.